Hi, my name is Dr. Frederick Edward Fabelia, and I will be discussing subliminal perception. So let's begin. To be able to appreciate subliminal perception, we must first take into consideration visual perception, which from experience, we all know to be a very complex process. Our ability to see is based on our five senses. Our sense of sight is one of those five senses. And just like our other senses, our sense of sight is also limited. Okay, So because of these limitations, we have to discuss what is called the threshold of vision. The sensitivity of a given sensory system to the relevant stimuli can be expressed as an absolute threshold. And what is an absolute threshold? This refers to the minimum amount of stimulus energy that must be present for the stimulus to be detected 50% of the time. So what does that mean? It means that not all stimuli can be detected consciously. Okay, there are some stimuli that are occurring around us which we are not consciously aware of. And uh, one of the limitations of our sense of sight is our ability to see distance. It has been estimated that on a clear night, the most sensitive sensory cells in the back of the eye can detect a candle flame 48 kilometers away. So this is one limitation. Okay. So let us discuss the Vicari experiment. So look at the picture. In the summer of 1957, James Vicari conducted an experiment on subliminal visual cues during the screenings of the film Picnic. So in a cinema, James Vicari flashed messages. Every five seconds, Vicari flashed words like, drink Coca-Cola and hungry, eat popcorn. For one out of three thousandth of a second, which is below the threshold of conscious perception. So we were talking about threshold earlier. And if something is below the threshold of our ability to detect consciously, it might be detected subliminally by our mind. Okay, Vicari claimed that these subliminal suggestions increased Coca-Cola sales by 18.1% and caused a 57.8% jump in popcorn sales. So imagine that, no? Of course, some uh, experts and scientists disputed the findings of Vicari. So subliminal messages. Subliminal messages are visual stimuli that is flashed for just a few milliseconds but can be absorbed at a subconscious level before your conscious mind has time to interpret the incoming visual stimuli. So the effect of subliminal messages can be positive or negative depending on the content of the messages being flashed before your eyes. So that means subliminal messages can have an effect on us. But it depends on the content whether the effect is positive or negative. So how does that work? So there are things that our conscious mind is able to detect and process. But if there are messages or stimuli that do not reach the threshold, the threshold of our consciousness, of our conscious perception and detection, it is able to enter our mind through the subconscious. Okay? And that becomes subliminal perception. So look at this slide here. At first, you might just say that it is a slide of uh, a bunch of dots. But if you uh, go farther away and look at it, you will see a hidden message. So this is, this is an example of a subliminal message. Okay. Are subliminal messages uh, used in commercial advertisements? So these websites that I will uh, discuss with you um, have shown certain images about certain products that uh, they claim have subliminal messages in them. Let's look at these images that are uh, 
presented by these websites. Okay. So this is a top of a cola can. So according to this website, there is a subliminal message here. So what is it? Let's find out. There appears to be an image of a woman lying down. That's according to the website. Okay. Let's look at another one. So this is an image of beer bottles. So what is the subliminal message here? If you uh, turn the picture upside down, you see something else. Okay? So that is a, the subliminal message according to this website. Let's look at another one. This is an image of a burger. And according to this website, there is a subliminal message here. But we have to look closely in order to find it. So what is it? Do you see it? There appears to be a dollar bill in the patty. So what does the dollar bill tell us? means that the burger is not expensive because it's only 99 cents, less than a dollar. Okay. So how about this picture here? According to this website, there is a hidden message of two people there sharing food. Okay. All right. And this popular car brand, if you look at the logo of this car brand, this website tells us that this logo actually has the entire name of the car brand in the logo. Can you see it? Okay. So these are examples of subliminal messages in commercial ads. And let's look at another one, a popular chocolate brand. Okay, If you look at the logo, there appears to be a mountain. But inside the mountain, you will find something else. What is it? Do you see it? It appears to be a bear. So why is there a bear in this logo? This is a tribute to the Swiss city of Bern nicknamed the City of Bears, where the chocolate company was founded. Okay, so these are examples of subliminal messages in commercial advertisements. Are subliminal messages also used in movies? Let's find out. If you saw the movie The Lord of the Rings, there's a scene there, and this uh, screenshot is taken from that movie. And according to this website, there is a subliminal message here. Okay, let's isolate the subliminal message. According to this website, there is a, a name of a popular cola brand. Okay, how about this? This is the poster of the movie The Lion King, the animated version. Okay, so what is the subliminal message here? According to this website, that is the subliminal message. Okay, so do subliminal messages work? Let's consider actual researchers that have been done. Consider in-store music. When researchers played music in a liquor store, they found a startling result. On days when German music was played, German wine outsold French wine. However, the reverse happened when French music was played. So this is a study conducted using music. Okay. So are you familiar with this cartoon? In a study by Cooper and Cooper, participants watched an episode of The Simpsons television program. Embedded in the program were verbal and pictorial stimuli related to thirst that were presented below conscious awareness. So what happened? The results show that compared to their pre-exposure ratings and compared to a control group, participants became thirstier following exposure. All right. Another study. Okay, so are you familiar with this uh, brand? In a study by Karaman's Strobe and Klaus, subliminal priming of Lipton iced tea positively affected thirsty participants' choice for 
and their intention to drink the primed brand. Okay. And lastly, still another study by Levy, Pilver, and Chung, elderly individuals were subliminally exposed to positive age stereotypes. And this resulted in the participants developing stronger positive self-perceptions of aging, which in turn improved physical function. So this is a positive application of subliminal messages wherein people were able to function better physically because of these subliminal messages. Okay, so subliminal messages, if they do have an effect, only work when you are not aware of them. So how will you know if you have been influenced by subliminal messages? The answer is you won't. So that's why I asked this question. Are you being influenced by subliminal messages? Okay, so that ends my discussion on subliminal perception. If you want to stay updated with my upcoming lectures, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prof. Eric F. Thank you very much.